<clears throat> anything around us, everything, has a reason, right? She's walking that way right now. There's a reason why she's walking that way, right? Anything that we see anywhere, all day, every day, has a reason. If anywhere you see me or anything, that I'm, there's a reason why I wake up and I brush my teeth so I don't stink when I go back to my wife. There's a reason why we wear shoes. There's a reason why we brush our hair. There's a reason for everything we do in every direction we go all throughout the day. You can ask anyone at any time the reason for what they're doing, and they probably would have a pretty logical reason why they're doing what they're doing or what direction they're going. Yet if you ask somebody, what is the reason for life itself? Uh, they would look at you and be like, I don't know, the most important thing in the world. And many of us walk around not even knowing why we're doing it. It's as if people are just existing for no apparent reason and not living at all. Wake up, eat some breakfast, you know, watch a show, go to work, come home, eat some dinner, watch a show, watch the game, go to sleep, wake up, eat some breakfast, go to work, just existing day by day for no apparent reason, not knowing the reason for the most important thing that's going on around us, life itself. I'm here to tell you today without a shadow of a doubt that life is more than just existing between the storms of life and then trying to recover from those storms only to go back to existing for no apparent reason again. Life is more than just existing for no reason. Everything around us screams that there is a perfect creator who creates everything with a perfect purpose. Everything around us screams that. You look at something as petty as a tree, there's a reason for it. it grows up and it produces fruit in some cases. It, it gives off oxygen so that we can breathe. Even the tr most trivial of things in this creation, everything around us has a reason. Animals and the whole ecosystem and one animal is made to take care of another and eat this one so that the whole system is perfect. Everything around us has a reason. Nature and the rain and why the clouds gather this rain and then it pours down and it helps the... Everything is perfectly created and everything around us has a reason. Plants that heal things, these little petty plants that grow. Do you know that even things like weed <laughs> have a purpose? It is created with a beautiful purpose to cure certain things like glaucoma and stuff like that. But as with anything in creation, when it is not used for the purpose that it was created for, it ends up doing more damage than good. Sex is another perfect example, the most beautiful thing that can be created. This incredible union where people are created to perfectly fit together ends up getting twisted and used outside of its purpose and used in lust and jealousy uh, and, and adultery and, and pornography, all these horrible things. The most beautiful thing in the world when it is not used for its purpose is the most jacked up thing that's jacking our world up right now. The things that God created as the most beautiful have the most potential to hurt people if they are not used for the purpose in which they were designed to be used. Even the Word of God itself, the most beautiful gift God could give us, an instruction manual to know how to live this life and find peace and joy and abundance of life has been twisted and used to start wars, to uh, um, lead people astray into phony religiosity, or used to put other people down rather than to lift people up. We've used it to make people feel burdened by all the drama that comes with phony religion rather than release them from that burden like it was written and the purpose for the Word of God. And it is the exact same with us and the rest of all creation. When we are not using our lives for the purpose in which we were intended, we create a whole bunch of madness in our lives that is not God's plan why he created us. I mean, the simple truth is, no matter where you stand on this book, the fact still remains that those who follow this word find life. And those who continue to, who, who don't follow this, just continue to exist for no apparent reason. One storm, I'm going to try to make it through that storm of life, and then I'm going to try to make it through the next one, and just for no apparent reason. The basic reality is, no matter what anyone's faith statement, this works, everything else the world has tried throughout history doesn't. That's track record to me.